In this video, I will introduce to you the function section, especially to create details on your model. Okay, so to define a section, we first have to activate the function sections in the toolbar. And then in this dialog list of sections, we click on the new section button. I would like to create a section only for these two rooms, the office one and office two. So first I left click where I would like to start this section. And then the second click is to give the length of this section and the third for the depth. Okay. Next, I will press escape and this section is directly inserted in the Explorer tab. Let's have a look. Okay. So the first thing we can do is when we have a section for, uh, with pipes or ducts, we can have the representation of the contour of the duct or the pipe or with a solid view. To change the representation, we come to the menu view and then we select the option solid view for ducts and pipes and we can represent like this. Um, next, now I will insert a, um, a dimension line. To insert a dimension line, we come to the toolbar or we simply use the hotkey shift D. So I'll left click here and first I will define the height of this room and then I will connect it to the bottom surface of the duct and the top surface of the duct to show also the height of this duct. By pressing enter, I will move to insert the dimension lines in the model. And then I left click to insert this. Okay, so I'll press escape and we have here this dimension line. If we select this dimension line and we right mouse click, we have several options for this dimension line. We could insert a new, a, a insert new nodes. We could set a, a dimension line angle, change the angle. Okay, we can create from same positions or we can also create from extend. I'll select this create from extend. And as you can see, I have the, the, the complete length of this dimension line. Okay, if I double click this dimension line, we open the configurations and uh, we can see that I have active the, the checkbox for rotate ver uh, text. As we can see, the text right now is horizontal. If I deactivate, the text by default is vertical. Okay, we can also change the symbol of the dimension line in the terminator type. Okay, so we can change here and also change the scale. And we can also change the, the size of the font, the size of the text. Okay, like I could insert this size instead of this. Very well, I'll click OK. Else, what we can use in a, in a section is the part text, intelligent, intelligent text. Uh, to do so, we make use of the function part text. Since I cannot uh, select objects in the section uh, for layout, I simply activate the part text and then I move to one object. Right now, it's selected for the air terminal. And this is the previous type of part text inserted for this object showing the airflow. If I would like to insert the other type of information, I would have to double click this part text and I could insert another setup. But it's not the case here. I just want to insert another part text for this rectangle, for the circular duct. Okay, so I select each one object and the same I can use for the rectangular ducts. Just move to the segment it's selected and the object is uh, and the part text is inserted. Okay. Nice result, isn't it? Okay. Now let's assume that in my model, I would like to change the height of this, of this duct. Let's see what would be the result for, for this, uh, for, for the dimension lines. Okay. So if we come to 3d, I would like to change the height of this um, handling unit. So I'll use the hotkey page up 
and I will increase the height 20 centimeters. As you can see, the complete system went up. If I come back to the section AA, we see now that this dimension line has been updated. So we have a consistent document result.